My name is Ryan Burke, and I just love guitars. That's why I'm traveling the whole world to try as many as I can. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum Road Case. This episode is brought to you by Tour Gear Designs and their amazingly small and flat patch cables. Big ear pedals, harnessing the cosmic power of cats to transport you into a new sonic dimension. Gun Street Wiring Shop, unlock your guitar's hidden tones with an expertly crafted custom wiring harness. And... Tysco pedals. I use them. I love them. Maybe you will too. Everybody, last video here at Coast Sonic. Thanks for uh, tuning in for all the road case videos. Uh, if you missed some of them, go back through the playlist and check up on everything I did here at Coast Sonic. It was a bunch of fun, guitars, pedals, but what about the secret hero of these videos? The thing you didn't see, what about the amplifier? Uh, I was planning on using my Iridium when I came here, and then I saw all the amps here, I saw the Milkmans and I was like, oh yeah, I know I'm using a Milkman today. I did bring my, uh, my microphones to record amps just in case. So I threw those on there. Hopefully it all sounds good and I mic'd the amps right. I mic'd them the same way. I mic'd it the same way that I mic my amps at home. So I'm assuming it's all gonna work out. I always worry. Uh, but anyways, I just wanna spend a video spending some time with just the amp Exploring this thing, uh, Milkmans tend to be really dialed in versions of Fender circuits. And uh, Tim over there at Milkman, I'm a huge fan. Huge fan of just his ability to dial in just these really beautiful sounding amps. Uh, the reverb and tremolo that I use for my board all the time, that's a Milkman pedal. Uh, Tim did a great job dialing that thing in to really represent a really nice amp style reverb and tremolo in a pedal. So let's check out this amp that's laid out like my Princeton, basically. Volume, treble, bass, verb, and then controls for the tremolo. It has an attenuator in the back. There it is with the attenuator all the way off. Is the knob on the back the attenuator? Or is there a switch? A knob. Okay, so I got it. It's over by the power plug. Yeah, just roll it down. Okay, cool. All right. There it is with the attenuator rolled all the way down. We'll open it back up. Let's roll it all the way back again and crank the volume on this thing. I wish I had an attenuator on my Princeton. It's a little much. This 
this is all at very comfortable volume for me right now. I'm not wincing at all. Right there, I adjusted it from full volume, which was fine, but on the edge of uncomfortable and would be definitely annoying to anyone else in the room if they didn't want to hear guitar, down to a very comfortable kind of house level. I mean like home, residential, residential level volume. Well, I still hear the TV volume. Right there is where, about where I've been using it to record all these videos. You're getting some tube compression there, but you're not getting much drive. It's a little bit close to drive. I'm sure it was pushing into drive when I was hitting it with, uh, you know, boosted fuzzes and, and distortions and whatnot. Then it just added to the flavor. Check out the reverb. Ooh, I can already tell I'm gonna like it. deep and resonant reverb. It's not the splashy, drippy style that I find in my Princeton. That's a really nice amp style reverb. Tremolo now. trim on that. That is a swampy tremolo.
really just that's the kind of amp I could sit plug directly into and have a good time for a long time I know I've been playing all sorts of effects and stuff through it you can't deny that's fun <laughs> anyways thanks for watching everyone please like subscribe dislike leave me rude and nasty comments click the links down below for all the sponsors of this content they make it possible. They make me feel motivated to pack everything up, drive across the county or to a whole other place in the world. Who knows where I'll end up with this series. I might end up in Japan someday. You never know. I might end up in Australia, in Russia. I don't know. I could end up all over the world. I could end up on the moon shooting these road case videos. Um, so yeah. Having sponsors makes me motivated <laughs> to make this actually happen. And uh, you know what? Also click the link for Coast Sonic. Go check out everything they have for sale. Uh, they are a great source if you're window shopping for just anything in the small builder world, anything in the boutique world, anything in the weird pedal world. Uh, they make it a point to get their hands on all the small run stuff as it comes out. So if you're looking for a one-stop shop for all that stuff. Definitely check out Cosonic. Also, they're local to me. Jody's a cool guy. He makes good food at his restaurants, too. <laughs> so, if you're in San Diego, go stop by his restaurants. And, uh, you know what? Buy some food and say hi. Say you heard about him from these videos or elsewhere. I don't care. <laughs> all right, bye, everyone. Stay grounded. <laughs>